hey guys so today i'm gonna do my monthly empties for may i don't have that many empties but i figured i had enough for a video so i'm doing it anyway Okay, I'm gonna start with Smashbox <sighs> Primer Water in Centering Citrus. This is like a limited edition scent. Smelt, uh, absolutely disgusting. And for the life of me, I don't understand why people love the Primer Water so much. Like, it does literally nothing. Like, it's literally, I know that it's not just water and there's other ingredients in it, but you know, you can either use it as a primer or a setting spray. Does nothing for both. It's literally like s spraying water on your face that you pay like however much this costs, like $30 for. So I used it for the spray on my uh, soap for my soap brows because otherwise I wasn't gonna use this on my face. It like served no purpose for me. So I just used it up like that. So next we have this cleansing oil and it's the Cozy Cosmoport Speedy Cleansing Oil Softimo, I don't really know. It's um, a Japanese cleansing oil. I mean, it says it's made in Japan, so I'm gonna assume that it's a Japanese cleansing oil. Anyway, I love um, K-Beauty and J-Beauty, and I think they make the best cleansing oils. It is a product that I feel like is really popular in that market, they probably even I don't know, invented it or something. But it's lovely. I've tried many cleansing oils and this one has like a nice consistency. It feels nice on my face. It takes off the makeup because I do a double cleanse. First I do an oil cleanser and then I just do a regular cleanser and um, I exfoliate as well. And this just worked remarkably. Like I've used other cleansing oils that are just thin and feel like water and then when you wash it off your face, it leaves like a residue, which a cleansing oil isn't supposed to do because what a cleansing oil does is it does remove everything because it's an oil, but then it emulsifies once it hits water. So it just comes off completely. And I really enjoyed it. So I would totally repurchase it. Although I am constantly on the lookout for the best of whatever product it is that I finished up. So I'm always experimenting with new products. So, I mean, I would repurchase after I've used every single cleansing oil that exists and determined which ones are my favorites. I get a lot of my K-Beauty and J-Beauty off of either Amazon or Yes Style. Amazon is good because with Prime, you get it sooner than with Yes Style. So this is another product I got off Amazon. It's a shampoo. It's called like Machere shampoo ma cherie moisture shampoo um it's a uh one of shiseido's sister brands type thing like shiseido has multiple different brands and like underneath the shiseido company umbrella whatever and this is one of them it's such a cute bottle is this not the most beautiful i'm a sucker for packaging you know what i mean like it's just so cute and for those of you who don't know, Shiseido is also Japanese. It was alright. It wasn't amazing. Didn't notice any spectacular difference. Um, but I did want to try it just to see what kind of shampoos they offer. And currently I'm using another... I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean. Either way, I'm experimenting with shampoos because I want to find a shampoo that... Um, cleanses my hair really well because my hair gets super oily but at the same time so it's it's always such an effort to get the oils out of my hair and i have very curly frizzy hair so which takes me like an hour plus to straighten or style or whatever and it takes forever to dry so i don't like to wash my hair super often and so I like for shampoo to be able to keep like the oils out of my hair for longer. I find with a lot of shampoos, it doesn't clean my hair well enough. You know what I mean? I feel like after I got out of the shower, it's like, well, it's not like completely oil free. So, so, you know, it was all right. Like no complaints, but I'm not dying to repurchase it. Okay. So 
So next I got this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I'm not big on masking unless they do something incredible. I've yet to discover one that I find a major difference in. I got this off of BoxyCharm actually. You know, LMS is considered a pretty high-end brand. It was whatever. Again, no complaints. And I don't really see a theme of spectacular things from this month, but I used it. It was nice. It was, eh, I don't know. It's not something I would like recommend. It's just whatever. This is the Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. Everything I have from them and have tried from them, amazing. Highly recommend the brand. These exfoliating pads were incredible. I really love exfoliating pads. So what I do is I use a toner um, every other day and then every other day I use an exfoliating pad because first of all, I don't wanna over exfoliate and I find that they're very mild so you can use them every other day and it, it's good to switch up the toner because like your skin, it's not like it gets used to it. It still like works with the ingredients. It's also alcohol free, which I find to be very important. And right now I'm actually using an Elemis exfoliating pad container thing. So uh, that one I like so far as well. So like that's a good product that I would recommend from Elemis. But yeah, I love this. Okay, so I finally used up this eye cream uh, by Dr. Brandt. This was like a limited edition one. I don't know if it's still called Glow, but they still have um, a retinol eye cream. The retinol eye cream they have now comes in a different packaging. I'm not entirely sure if the ingredients are the same. Um, either way, I appreciate retinol trying to, you know, prevent aging. And um, did this do anything? noticed absolutely no difference. Glad I'm done with it. Moving on to a next eye cream. I'm not gonna lie about it because look at how cute this packaging is. Like I'm dead. Pink, anything I love. What I'm replacing it with is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. So far it's pretty good. Actually, I really like the applicator. It's kind of cooling and um, it's nice that I can use it instead of like, I don't know, using my fingers, whatever. It's nice, I like it. It's gentle and it's, I really like that it's cold. I quite like Juice Beauty products other than their eyebrow gel. I used their eyebrow gel and it literally like, it got moldy all of a sudden. It was gross and I threw it out. I literally used it maybe like five times. But you know what? This is good <laughs> so far. So I used up the Yves Rocher Coconut and Mango Coriander Energizing Bath and Shower Gel. This one is Sensual Bath and Shower Gel. Um, I really like Yves Rocher. I like their ingredients. I bought like a few different shower gels from them. I still have like a few left and I find that their scents are kind of off. Like, I don't know if it's because they say 91% natural ingredients. So maybe that's why. Maybe I'm used to scents that aren't natural. I don't know, but it was weird. They're good shower gels. Just the scents, I don't know. The scent of a shower gel is pretty important to me. I mean, like that's, I choose them based on the scents. So like, you know, whatever, but like natural, fine, I'll take it. You know, they're made in France, cool. I have an attachment to this company because it reminds me of my youth. My my mom used to get like a um, catalog of theirs and like order their products. So I don't know, I guess it's nostalgia for me, but what they're, yeah. And another thing from Yves Rocher is, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Is it Yves Rocher? I don't know. But um, this is their Radiance Exfoliating Gel. It was quite nice, you know? Smelled good. I'd potentially repurchase it. It, 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 was, it was good. The toner I finished up is by Secret Key. It's a K-Beauty brand. This is the Witch Hazel Pore Clear Toner. It was good. Smelled good. 
I got this off YesStyle. There's a bunch of scents for this one. I think they do different things as well. I just got the Witch Hazel one because it was geared towards pore clearing and I would like to minimize my pores as much as I possibly can. Final skincare item, the Bosha Everyday Gel to Mousse Cleanser. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but it's basically like, think shaving gel consistency, and then you rub it together and it gets really foamy. I, it's nice. It feels like you're in a spa and have luxurious foam clearing action. I don't know, but I don't know if they sell it anymore. I love Bosha. Everything I've tried from this brand is incredible. It is also a Korean brand. Like their products are made in Korea. I don't really know if like that would be considered a Korean brand because it's American sourced from Korea. I don't know, but either way, amazing. I know they kind of did like a rebranding. So like this label is not really a thing they use anymore only with certain products but I do love their products. I would repurchase this if, if they still sell it. Maybe they do on their website and just not on Sephora, so I'm not aware, because I usually look on Sephora for everything, and I know that brands sell a lot of products on their site that isn't on Sephora. So anyway, incredible cleanser. I loved it so much. Okay, so I only have two makeup products that technically don't even count, but I'm still gonna talk about them. First of all, this Innisfree No Sebum Primer. I tried to project pan it, truly. I, I did my best. I was like, you know what, I bought it, I'm gonna use it. I bought it because like, you know, blurring primer, pores, I wanna blur them, and I try every primer that claims to do that. This one was not good and did not blur my pores, and if anything, disrupted my foundation underneath. So, I've been trying to finish this up for months and honestly, I don't even think I've done that much damage on it. I think I've literally used maybe half of it and I got really frustrated one day because of how my makeup was turning out and I was just like, I'm done. That's it, no more. Oh, you can see Judy, my cat. His name is Jude, but I like to call him Judy. What's up, homie? Anyway, so yeah, I I tapped out. I was like, I'm done. Why ruin my makeup just because I'm trying to finish up a product I bought? Like I I'm not it's not worth it. You know what I mean? This is also Innisfree is also a K Beauty brand. I do love the brand. It's just this product. Like, nah. And it kind of has the same consistency as the Benefit Professional, which I also do not like, but you can see it's like that. And so it gets so like thick and goopy and it blurs nothing. It's just, I mean like, yeah, I'm kind of blurring, but once you put makeup on it, it's the game over. So goodbye to that product. And then another one that also technically doesn't count as an empty is my Pretty Vulgar Highlighter and Shimmering Swan. I honestly, I don't know if you can tell, but I had hit pan earlier. There was just like a little bit on the sides and it fell and broke. So I'm considering it an empty. I would totally repurchase this. I love Pretty Vulgar. Everything I've bought from them, their makeup products, I've loved. I don't know why they don't have enough hype. Like on Sephora, I feel like all their stuff always goes on sale and it confuses me because their products are beautiful. This is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And I think their packaging is so cute. You know, anything with like vintage packaging, I can't, like I'm dead. Like look at their setting spray, for example. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Anyway, so I feel like Pretty Vulgar does not get the recognition it deserves. And uh, I highly recommend their products. I think they're beautiful and 100% would repurchase again many, many times. I won't anytime soon because I'm trying to go through the wide variety of highlighters I have. It's just like, it's, I have a lot. So I need to focus on those before I go buying any new highlighters. You know what I mean? 
So that's that. It's all the empties I uh, I got from my May empties. I don't know, when you have so much makeup, it's so hard to go through all of it. The majority of the time I go through skincare a lot, whereas, you know, like, like I don't know if I'll ever see an eyeshadow palette empty, you know what I mean? Or, or even like a blush or a highlighter. Bronzer, yeah, because with bronzers, I like to project pan my bronzers. Most, if not all, my bronzers are way too dark. And like, they're all the lightest shades, but for my fair skin, it's too much. And I always have to like finesse it with like highlighting powder to diffuse how orange they can be on me or whatever. So I'll always buy a new bronzer, try it out, and a lot of the time they're disappointing so i project pan them so i can just finish them up and get rid of them but yeah otherwise it'll probably only be like primers foundations i hope you found it somewhat interesting or saw some new products that you haven't seen before because i know a lot of people don't use yves rocher or rocher whatever you call it or a lot of key beauty stuff so i thought i would share with my 90s hair all right, good rhyme there, Coral. And I wore a tie-dye just to embrace more of the 90s. Look, okay, so that's my cue to go. Um, Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all soon.